The Walking Dead is back. And I can't really express how happy I am, how elated I am that this show is back. Sure, the break sucks, waiting sucks, but when it does come back, you get this feeling of just being overjoyed. I mean, when it got closer to the time and I changed the channel to AMC, I thought, wow, this just feels right. It's a little weird not to have The Talking Dead immediately after. I guess people are going to be watching Better Call Saul, which I know I'm like the one person who still hasn't watched Breaking Bad. I'm totally slacking, so this new show means nothing to me, but who knows? I'm sure it's going to be good. Back to Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 9, entitled What's Happened and What's Going On? This episode for a mid-season finale that they had where they killed Beth, a pretty major character on the show. They came back with a bang. The episode started with what we thought was them burying Beth. I mean, I could assume that all of us thought that. Until uh, the, the basic plan of the group was to bring Noah back to his people, his family, or at least where they were staying. And I like the moment where Rick even admitted that, look, I don't even know if I thought his people would be alive. I don't even know if I cared. He, he wanted to do this for Beth. Beth literally died to make sure that Noah got out of that hospital and got back to his people. And that that's what was important. So I like that. I like that. It's almost like even though Noah has barely been with the group, once you are part of the group, once you're there, you, you're family. And they're going to do everything that they can for you. And that's, that's why I like this group as much as I do. Uh, seeing Michonne be almost defeated, just all lost of hope was was something because when they got to this little area it was gone there was dead bodies everywhere there was walkers everywhere it just was like we not only is everybody dead but this place isn't even salvageable so fuck and it was interesting to see Michonne almost grasping for something because it's like it's easy to lose faith and everything. I like how she was like, hey, let's try Washington. There's got to be a reason why Eugene said Washington. we got to try it. It's something. We can't just sit around and just kill, kill, or watch our friends get killed, and it's just nothing but death. We're surrounded by death. And do we want to keep doing this forever? I, I, I liked where she was coming from. It's funny that that came from Michonne, somebody who was very cold, and just killed everybody when we first met her. But now, I like where she was coming from. And then Noah, who saw his home and ran there, and of course Tyrese, once Tyrese said he was going to go in there first, I, I'm not sure if I thought he was going to die, but even going into this episode, when it started, I kind of I had this uneasy feeling that somebody was going to die. And this show has done a pretty great job at almost establishing that nobody's safe. You know, anybody can go at any minute. I feel like Rick is the only person that's off limits. And even that, I, who could really be sure? So when they go in there and you see dead bodies and especially the little kids who have died, it's, that was sad for sure. But my god, if I wasn't yelling at the screen for Tyrese to turn the fuck around when the little kid was creeping up behind him, and of course Tyrese gets bit in the arm, and I thought, well, fuck, okay, so are we going to pull a Herschel right now and chop his arm off? But no, Noah ran off to look for something, and when you had that shot of Tyrese just bleeding out, I thought, okay, he's not going to fucking make it. Even if Noah does come back uh, next segment and tries to cut it off, it's just how much blood has he lost? How much of the infection has now spread? It sucks. It's a shitty situation. I really wasn't expecting this, and I found it fascinating, the whole 
ghost of Tyrese's past almost type of thing where not only did you see the the two little girls who uh it's funny because you could tell they're they're getting older and like taller it was kind of funny uh and then you even had Beth playing her guitar which is funny because I mean when you think of Beth you think of her playing music and singing and and then you even saw Bob, who, I mean, I've given Bob so much flack, and I've, I've shitted on him, and I, there was a time when I couldn't wait for his character to die, but, you know, I, it was nice to see some of these characters, and I don't, I still, I guess, don't know for sure if it was Tyrese imagining all of this, hallucinating, loss of blood, or if this was the other side, the afterlife. I mean, the show's never really dealt with ghosts before. I know the whole Lori thing with Rick and some people think it was her ghost and I assume it was just Rick hallucinating. Here it's a lot more ambiguous. We don't really know what was going on because you even had the, the Terminus guy who was there and sort of he was playing devil's advocate with Tyrese more being a dick to him and saying how it was his fault, the domino effect, which is an interesting position to take and think about that you know every action that has been taken has caused all of the shitty things to happen and sometimes me being an overthinker I I would think about this if I did this differently or if I didn't do that what would happen would this person be alive would would I have gotten bit when he said hey if you had killed me like you told the group he did well Gareth for sure wouldn't have known where you were and come to the church and done what he did. So it's definitely uh, an opinion aside to the story that you can ignore. So I like that. But what surprised me even more was seeing the governor. The governor. Wow. I mean, it's almost like I didn't realize how much I missed this character until I saw that actor show up. I know when I say miss, it makes me sound like he was my favorite character. Sure, he was a hated character, but he was a guy that you loved to watch. He was a great actor, he was such an evil type of villain, a great villain for the show, and just for the few moments we got him here, it was great. Very great. But uh, the moment, like, when one of the walkers came at Tyrese, why he was bit, and just the shot of Tyrese's point of view with the walker coming at us, in a sense, was so terrifying, it was creepy, it was it's something about these walkers that the fact that all they want to do is eat you. So there's no rhyme, there's no reason, there's nothing you can really do but try to fight this off. And when he's trying to pull him away and he's just like biting at your face, it's, it's just disturbing. There's really no other way to describe it. I loved when you went back and forth between the hallucinations and then all of a sudden Rick is holding his arm and then they cut his arm off cut to commercial holy fuck this is what makes the show awesome is that you get a moment like that and then boom commercial now i'm just thinking about it and i'm just like holy fuck what's gonna happen now come back tyrese is delirious and that they're, they're physically carrying his big ass out of the house through the woods they're having to fight off walkers like the moment when they open the gates and there's fucking tons of walkers tyrese's point of view it's in slow motion and Walkers are getting shot and head cut off. It was just, it was awesome. It was chaos, but it was uh, it was an emotional chaos because all we're really thinking about is Tyrese, whether he's gonna make it. And and man, I, I was I was pulling for him. I I wasn't sure, but when they were driving with him, and then when he saw everybody in the car, Beth, Bob the two sisters, and by this point, because before when we saw them, they had their 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 death wounds, I guess you could say. You know, Bob was missing his leg, Beth had a bullet in her head, the other little girl had a bullet in her head, so, but when we saw them in the car, they looked fine, and they looked peaceful. It was almost like they were luring Tyrese with them. And so again, I mean, maybe it is dangerous territory to blatantly say this is the afterlife of The Walking Dead. Who knows? I liked it though. I did like that they tried to put a positive spin in dying because there really isn't a good way to look at somebody dying, it, it, especially the fear of the unknown. 
but I like that they at least try to make it something to where it does get better. It's, it's not all death and sadness. There is something past all of this crazy shit. And then that's when you get to the end and you find out that, no, they weren't burying Beth, they were burying Tyrese. Wow. What a powerful ending. And we saw all of our group back and even Sasha's reaction. It, it was just, it was a quiet, sad sort of moment. But again, it juxtaposed the sort of, I guess, happy ending for Tyrese. It, what an episode. What an emotional episode. I, I loved it. What more can I say? I love this show in general. Great stuff. I, I just can't wait to watch every week and to see what happens now with this show. I, I loved it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you saw tonight's episode. What did you think of it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.